Welcome into NFL Daily. We are presented by Panda Subs. You can get 30% off the best vitamins and supplements when you use promo code chat. Just go to pandasubs.com. They're going to hook you up. By the way, they'll get you free shipping as well. He's Tom Downey. I am Harrison Graham. Lots of NFL news and rumors to get into on today's show, including news coming down in the past 10 minutes or so, Tom. Lamar Miller heading to the New England Patriots. Yeah, this one is a done deal. Just came across the wire. Literally like a what? 10 seconds before we started the show here. That is a done deal here. Miller has agreed to a, well, not technically a done deal, excuse me. This is a to-be-finished deal. It is pending a physical, a one-year deal for Lamar and Miller and the New England Patriots. This is noteworthy to me, Harrison, because, yes, Brandon Bolden opted out, but we know he's mostly a, a special team option yep. for the New England Patriots. It's noteworthy to me because it makes me wonder if, hey, you know what? Is Sony Michelle going to be okay? That's a, he's on pup list right now. You know what I do when I have a banged up running back? I go sign another banged up running back. If they're that, both hurt, one would be healthy. Hey, you got to have a chance at one. Uh, last four seasons, didn't play in 2019, so I did. I wanted to leave that off. 2015 mm. through 18, I always thought he got a bad rap in Houston. Quality running back. Yards per carry are always solid, productive. Obviously, when you think of the Texans, Deshaun Watson and uh, DeAndre Hopkins, RIP DeAndre, who's now in Arizona, mm. Uh, poor one out, Texans fans. But uh, Lamar Miller's been consistently a top 15 running we've, back when healthy. Counterpoint, we've also we've often made fun, at least we used to, made fun of the Dalton line, which is like right, right around franchise quarterback. Is it the Lamar Miller line for backs? Like, you're fine with him, but you're still going to do better, but the, you're also going to do a lot The ceiling's worse. limited. There's yeah, no exactly. doubt. Grade the signing, A, B, C, D, or F again. It's pending a physical, but mm -hmm. there is a deal in place, assuming all checks out with the health regards there for Lamar Miller to the New England Patriots. Speaking of the Patriots, how about uh, Cam Newton versus Tom Brady? This is an interesting one, Tom. Uh, ESPN's first take was debating which one of these quarterbacks is under more pressure as we get into the 2020 NFL season. You and I are on the same yeah, side here. and we're we on the right really, side. We, yeah, we're on the right side. We don't really think it's that much of a debate. It's clearly Cam Newton. And this is not a dig at Brady, not that I think it could even be perceived as one, but I know how the internet works. If you're Tom Brady, your worst-case outcome is, oh, shoot, I'm not as good in, 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 in Tampa because I'm old. Yes. And then I just ride off into the sunset as the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. Oh, well. If you're Cam Newton and you're bad again in New England, your chances of being a starter are pretty much done. Your career's probably done because exactly. at that point, you're not bringing in Cam Newton to be a bad I, maybe, I would, but I'm not sure Newton maybe, wants that, so he's caught in that awkward territory. Yeah, Cam doesn't want that. NFL teams don't want egos as their backup quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. We've seen that over the year. There's a reason why Chase Daniel keeps getting a job, because he's ego-free. All mm -hmm. right? Like, that's how it works in the and national, the secret in the national football. Point. Exactly. Uh, inspirational, some might say. <laughs> Look, these two quarterbacks both have something to prove. Tom yeah. Brady wants to prove that he's not just a Belichick Patriot system guy, but like you said, worst case – his career's over and he rides into the segment. Cam's worst case, he's retired at like 32. That is yeah. not what he wants. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. Which quarterback is under more pressure in 2020? If you think it's Cam Newton, type CN. If you think it's Tom Brady, type TB. If you don't know what the pinned comment is, just scroll down, top section of the comments right there. You guys can vote right there. Today on Seattle Seahawks News, let's get the latest update here, Tom. Not really news. NFL.com did a list of best players over 30. They're top 30 players in the National Football League. And Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson landed at number one on this list. And when you look at the players over the age of 30, really shouldn't be a huge surprise. Historically, these lists are bad yes. because they don't put the best player on there. They got it right this time. Yeah. And I, look, I'm a huge fan of Julio Jones, a huge fan of Chandler, or of, of Chandler Jones. Also players who made that top three list. Wilson was the correct number one choice. Even excluding positional value, he is a top three quarterback. Yeah. I think he's a better player than Julio, a better player than Chandler Jones. He deserved that number one spot. Yeah, Julio's the one guy that could be in the conversation there, but I'm with you. I'll go Russell Wilson. Here's kind of the excerpt from their piece uh, saying, Wilson is already one of just three quarterbacks in the Super Bowl era to post at least three seasons with 30-plus touchdowns and eight or few interceptions. Tom Brady's done it five times, but not since 2017. Aaron Rodgers has done it six times, but not since 2016. Wilson, he's hit that mark in back-to-back -back seasons, which kind of goes to show what you were saying. Not only is he one of, if not the best player over the age of 30, He's a top three NFL quarterback right now, bar none, up there with 
you know, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, whoever's in that mix, he is right there, and the numbers prove it. And quite frankly, if Seattle would let Russell Wilson be the primary focus of their let offense, Russ Cook, he, put it in the comments. You need that hash. You need to start making that a hashtag. That's, that's already because, a thing. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I guess I've missed out because every show you you, send, you tend to say that, and I, I agree with it. And if they let him cook, maybe he would finally win an MVP. We'll let you guys vote. Will Russell Wilson ever? Win an NFL MVP, type Y for yes, or you can type your N for no. Go ahead and get your votes down there in the comments. Section. I have some faith that someday he will, Harrison. I, I, he bet. He, he and Drew Brees both are deserving of an MVP. We can't have two of the top five quarterbacks, more or less from their era, not win an MVP. Well, a big, wrong. a big key to Russell Wilson's success, I hear he gets sleep aids from Panda Subs. Gets a good night's of sleep. It helps him relax at night. It gives him – he has full energy in the morning because he takes a scoop of this – Drinks it, mixes it up. Knocks you He's right out. He's good to go. Eight, ten hours of sleep. Hashtag no days off. You don't do that if you're Russell Wilson without Panda Subs. And look at this deal. 30% off at pandasubs.com when you use promo code chat. Usually this stuff is 45 bucks, Tom. Right now, just over 30 Yeah, it's a fantastic deal. And that container, by the way, will last you probably well over a month. Yep. Pandasubs.com. You get it if you use the promo code chat. So that link will be in the code, too. It will be in the links will be in the description and in the comments. So all you have to do is click it and then go buy it today. More on this story here now. Uh, there are 30 players I mentioned were on this list. Eight of them were quarterbacks. Russell Wilson came in at number one. Aaron Rodgers, four. Matt Ryan, seven. Matt Stafford at number 11 at NFL quarterbacks over the age of 30 on NFL.com's list. Tom Brady at number 17, which is a joke, him being ahead yeah, of Drew Brees. Yeah, Brees at 18 That's is the one low. that makes me go, no, no could, wait a minute. You could argue he's better than Rogers. Just saying. Yeah, you very much can, Kirk, even though he's in maybe the last year of his career. Kirk Cousins, Ryan Tannehill sneaking in there. But again, Russell Wilson at number one. You can debate some of these other guys. Yeah. They got it right at the beginning, and, that, and that's ultimately what matters. The Seahawks have one of the best signal callers in the game. He's a prime MVP candidate. Maybe 2020, Tom, is the year he can finally get that NFL MVP. One, one note here, by the way, for you Seahawks fans. Bobby Wagner did make this list, but he was not in the top 10. He was down at 13, which I'm kind of surprised by. Are we going to have a college football season? Eh, that depends on who you ask. So the latest here, which, by the way, this is coming through just a few minutes before the show, so we don't have the text up for you guys. But the Mountain West is the mm -hmm. latest to cancel, so keep that in mind as well. That is noteworthy. But the Big Ten seems to be leading the charge among the Power Five conferences, Tom, about having concerns about playing this the, ball. the problem I have right now is we are completely all over the map yes. in terms of what's being reported, what's going on. So we'll do our best to condense it down here. It kind of seems like some of the higher-ups, the presidents are more in favor of canceling. The players, though, they're, they're making a, a big push to play this yeah, year. Yeah, and, and coaches are even making a push as well, including Jim Harbaugh. Kind of the misleading thing you're talking about, the mm -hmm. kind of all over the place. This, this is from Dan Patrick earlier this morning, someone who's well-regarded mm -hmm. in sports media, by the way. He's been doing, uh, doing it for about 35 years. Mm -hmm. According to Dan's source, uh, 12 of the 14 presidents with the Big Ten have vetted against a fall college football season. Iowa and Nebraska were the two that have been pushing to play. By the way, Scott Frost, Nebraska head coach, strong this afternoon during his presser advocating that they should play. This, though, a little bit conflicting from Nicole Auerbach, who covers college football from a national scale for the athletic. Big Ten spokesman says no vote has been held by our presidents or chancellors. So, you know, whose information is accurate? Here's what I think in regards okay. to that. It's an informal vote. They okay. haven't taken a literal, sense. you know, technical, like, once we vote, there's no going back. It's on record. That's that just gauging the, the teams in the conference. That's what I believe. I think they feel that Nebraska and Iowa have been pushing hard mm -hmm. back against canceling, whereas the other 12, at least from a presidential standpoint, are more in favor of either postponing or flat-out canceling college football. So we'll leave it up to you. Will there be a college football season this year? Type 1 for yes, type 0 for no. I hope there is. I need a football. It's my season, favorite man. sport. It's I so need college fun. football. So Please. I, I hope there are. I, I hope we see ones, but it is understandable, despite there really not being much change that lets all of a sudden the chaos. It is concerning. Here. And you mentioned players are fighting back, and kudos to Trevor Lawrence. Regardless of what side you're on, regardless of if you think it's safe or not, 
when a player who doesn't even need to play this year, because mm -hmm. that's the case with Trevor Lawrence. He could have opted out and be the number one overall yeah, pick. Yeah, exactly. He could opt out, go train for four months, and get drafted in April number one overall. He is leading the charge to try and play this season, and that says a lot. Mm -hmm. And that tells me a lot, too, because when I was younger, you saw more of this, I think, where players – they, they revered playing college football, whereas nowadays it's really just a path to the NFL. And I cert, I understand that to a certain extent. For a lot of these guys, look, they gotta they gotta pay for their families. They gotta take yeah. care of their families. But this is their livelihood. Yes. Like this this matters to them both 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 for long term. That's why Trevor Lawrence. That's why Justin Fields. That's why these top players are taking that leadership role, which I, I am very impressed by. Yeah, and you're seeing Lawrence, awesome. Lawrence's tweet there. He also organized a Zoom call among some major players in college football. Justin Fields, another guy who doesn't really need to play this fall, probably needs to a little more than Lawrence, but yeah. certainly doesn't have to from a draft status standpoint. That hashtag, we want to play, mm -hmm. that was the number one trending topic on Twitter last night on the way into this morning. So this is a big discussion, and it, it factors into the NFL in a multitude of ways. My, my hope would be that even if the NCAA and the presidents decide to go in a different direction, I would hope they at least listen to the players since in recent years they haven't really listened to the players' voice at all. And at least, if you can't do it, at least be clear and explain to them and to the public, quite frankly, why it can't happen. Look, if, if you explain to me this is why it can't happen, Cool. Like I got, I got no problem. It sucks, but it is what it is. We saw this coming to a certain extent. We're up against it now. Got about a month to figure this out. Really, less time if you think about trying to gear up for the season. So Lawrence, coaches, Jim Harbaugh released a statement. They're trying to salvage the season. We'll see what these higher ups among these conferences decide to do. Now, college football may not happen this year. The NFL probably is, though. They're not going anywhere, and neither are we here at Chat Sports. So subscribe to the channel. When we started our live video, we were like 30 subs away from 185,000, Tom. Do it, baby. Let's get Let's there. Get to Hit it. that big red subscribe button. We get the 185K. Next milestone, 200,000. We can only do it with your help, so go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right now. And more on this, by the way, the NFL, well, they're seeing green money bags, Tom, if college football doesn't happen. Which, in, in, if we're being honest here, if we're ready to have the mature adult conversation, that's a big reason why NCAA is in college a little bit concerned about going full scale with, with, the, with the players and letting them play and, and going union route and all that. But if you're the NFL, and if there hypothetically is no college football, ESPN, CBS, Fox, all those, all those stations and TV channels yep. that normally have games on, now don't. NFL just going to swoop right in and take all that extra money. Yeah, Adam Schefter hopped on good, Get Up this morning and said, look, there's already talks about taking over Saturday's primetime games. You're also hearing – Honestly? Okay, sorry, go ahead. Well, uh, speaking of college football, Herb Street and Fowler, who's mm -hmm. ESPN ABC's number one team, that would be your Saturday night crew. That's, that, mm -hmm. that's the chatter right now. So you would have games potentially on Saturday – there is even chatter, maybe even a couple of Friday night games, which would be very interesting. It is interesting right there. I, I wouldn't mind the NFL on Friday. I, I I don't think there's too much of the NFL. And not only that, like the NFL is worried about, about their salary cap. You have extra games, you get extra TV money, that helps balance well, it out. Normally I'd probably say no, but if we're all stuck at home anyway, like I'll watch an NFL sure. game on a Friday night. I watch on Thursday I'll nights. I'll watch Tennessee-Jacksonville anyway. Yeah, It's I fine. Mean, look. A for yes, B for no. Let us know. Would you watch the NFL on Fridays? Go ahead and cast your votes. Get a couple shots here. Ethan Turner says A. I'm seeing all A's here, actually, uh, uh, from these votes. So let us know A for yes or B for no as you guys continue to get those votes going in the comments section. So we are presented by Panda Subs. You get 30% off at pandasubs.com when you use promo code chat. You'll also get some free shipping high quality vitamins and supplements including these new tropics tom they're going to keep you energized they're going to keep you ready mm -hmm. to go you know sometimes you're not feeling feeling a workout you take some of these you're feeling better you got that energy back you, you're able to rally and get back into the gym which is what i need to start doing yeah so hit, hit us all hard panda subs yeah you know corona it hits us all differently pandasubs.com get 30 percent off when you use promo code jet that deal right there 45 bucks down to 3150 not going to find a better deal out there. All right, real quick, let's hit this news. Darius Geis, the allegations are ugly. As you guys know, the Washington football team has or did release him over the weekend. Uh, court documents have been filed uh, here on this Monday, Tom. And uh, 
it's not looking good as uh, the allegations flat out say that uh, he basically strangled his girlfriend until she was unconscious. Yeah, it's pretty clear why Washington chose to release, release him. Here's what Ron Rivera had to say on Friday. Made a decision that I believe was in the best interest of this organization, our players, and our fans going forward. This type of situation, we take those allegations very, very seriously, and we had to make the decision. Assuming, of course, this is all true, and of course the court case will bear it out, he done. He ain't coming back. Yeah, so getting another shot, yay for yes, nay for no. I think it's pretty clear, even if just like some of the allegations are true, quite frankly, it's yeah. that bad. She had the girlfriend claims to have pictures as well. It's not yeah. looking good. We'll let the legal system play its yes, course, course, but yay for yes, nay for no. Go ahead and let us know.